The American people have spoken. They made clear what we have known for months. President Donald J. Trump is our Republican nominee and will be the 47th President of the United States. His America First agenda secured our borders, made America energy independent, and always puts the needs of the American people first. That is not the State of the Union we will hear from Joe Biden this week. Because the American people deeply understand that under Joe Biden's failed presidency, the State of the Union is in crisis. Tomorrow, the American people, as you know, are going to hear from, from President Biden about the State of the Union. And I've been asked many times, as many of us have, if you had to describe in one word what you believe the State of the Union is, um, you've heard the word crisis, you've heard catastrophe, I think maybe a summary is decline. And I say that with great sadness, we all do. But it's because of this president and his administration that we are indisputably in decline. I, I look, I would say that the State of the Republican Conference is encouraged and strong. We just left a, a meeting with, with our, we have a weekly gathering of all the Republicans. And um, listen, we know that, for example, on the appropriations bill, the government spending, we are not gonna get everything that we want. We want to cut spending. We want to limit the size and scope of the federal government. The reality right now is we have divided government. We have a two-vote majority, one of the smallest in history in the House. The House Republicans have the majority, but it's a slim majority, and we only control one half of one-third of the federal government. So we have to be realistic about what we're able to achieve. But in spite of that, we have an appropriations package that is going to cut non-defense, non-VA discretionary spending, and it is going to increase defense spending at this very important and delicate time around the globe. It takes a long time to turn an aircraft carrier, and, and we're doing that gradually. We're forcing reforms, trying to force Congress back into the mode, the statutory mode, the lawful mode, and the way in which it's supposed to work with regard to government funding. That means 12 separate appropriations bills, not all lumped into one. Yes. As a member of the Freedom Caucus, I want to remind everybody here that that all occurred before the speakers. Well, thank you, Scott Perry. Thank you very much. Um, listen, we're, we're all, in a, in a way, we're sort of victimized by the tradition that's been developed in Congress, and we're working really hard to bend that backwards, right? And so you can't turn an aircraft carrier overnight. So what we did was we broke the omnibus fever. We put it into the laddered CR approach, which was a new invention that Scott Perry and others helped invent, okay, to make this, this work. And, and we had to move that deadline a little bit because it takes a long time to get this done. But this is a long, methodical process. It is overdue. Well, look, we're, we're very happy with the results last night. Um, the, the race is set now. It will be a rematch, and we like that rematch. And, and from my perspective, I think uh, President Trump, what his message is resonating with the American people because this is not an untested theory. We know what President Trump delivered. Now, he got a lot of headwinds. He got a lot of resistance in that first term because he was still feeling it out. He had just arrived in Washington and was trying to figure out why some of those agencies would not follow the agenda. In fact, some of them were working against him. I think he has big plans to change some of that going forward. We're gonna be a big part of that. The House Republicans are gonna work hand in hand with the new president, uh, the 47th president, which we are uh, convinced will be President Donald Trump, and we are gonna turn the catastrophe, the crisis, the decline that we've described this morning completely around, because I believe we'll have Republicans uh, lead in the Senate and the House as well, and you will see our agenda run.